From the highest paid models, actors, royalty, to influencers, many well-known names in the industry indulge themselves in yachting. For those of you unfamiliar with the term, it's a practice when extremely wealthy people pay girls to spend time with them on yachts, and the girls are often referred to as yacht girls. So which celebrities and wealthy individuals are typically involved in yachting? Even though these celebrities are already rich, then why indulge in yachting? And what exactly happens on these mega yachts? Yachting is Hollywood's biggest open secret. From top models like Bella Hadid, Kendall Jenner, Irina Shaik, Emily Ratajkowski, to even Haley Baldwin being rumored to have done yachting. And it's not just models doing this, even Kylie and Kim have done it. And at some point it was rumored that even Meghan Markle had also done it, which we'll discuss later. And the list just keeps going. Even though these people are already pretty rich, their wealth is nothing compared to wealthy clients who hire them. Usually these girls are often recruited by their co-stars or other yacht girls to party and hang around the super wealthy and powerful people in return for luxurious gifts and cash. But an unwritten rule is that they need to have sex or carry out certain favors for those rich and powerful people and their guests. This helps them make up to $40,000 or upwards of six to seven figures just for one night. Like when Kylie Jenner yachted after her 18th birthday. In 2015, right when Kylie Jenner turned, turned 18, she was the highest paid yachter in 2015. And the bids went for five million dollars for a night, which is insane. Like that's insane. Emily Ratajkowski talked about these things in her book, where she recalls the time she was paid twenty-five thousand dollars to attend the Super Bowl with Joe Lowe. Joe Lowe is the same guy who was accused of siphoning four point five billion U.S. dollars from Malaysia's One MDB sovereign wealth fund. Kim Kardashian also was associated with Joe Lowe. Kardashian told investigators that she was first introduced to Lowe in 2009 and met him about six times overall, including two instances when she gambled with him. One, she was given about $350,000 in chips and was given a trash bag full of $100 bills estimated to be worth $250,000, which she later stowed in her carry-on bag during a Southwest airline flight back to Los Angeles. What's even sadder is that her mother orchestrated the whole thing. I feel like that's why Kylie is the way she is now, sad and lifeless, because no matter how much money and fame they get, nothing can erase the memories of the things she's had to do to get to where she is. The term yachting gained media traction in 2013, when The Hollywood Reporter published an investigation into the culture at the Cannes Film Festival, claiming models and even some Hollywood actors swarm the hotels and yacht parties during the festival. Sometimes it's just like a peer pressure kind of thing. Seeing everyone doing it, you just feel like, oh, probably there's nothing wrong with this. As told by Radikowski, I like to think that I was different from women like her, but over time, it became harder to hold on to that distinction or even believe in its virtue. I watched models and actresses guarantee themselves financial success and careers by dating or marrying rich and famous men. She also opened up about how yachting and all couldn't be avoided. I couldn't help but wonder whether those women were actually the smart ones, playing the game correctly. It was undeniable that there was no way to avoid the game completely. We all had to make money one way or another. Yachting is often displayed most prominently at events like Cannes. You might see people on the red carpet and have no idea who they are, but there's a reason why they're being elevated. The yachts spotted during Cannes were of Jeff Bezos, David Rubin, Brett Alexander, and a yacht rumored to be owned by, uh, <clears throat> you know who which costs more than $400 million and is 439 feet long. The sizes and prices of these yachts are just astonishing. By the way, Jeffrey's yacht costs $500 million. Previously, you could spot yachts of other people like Paul Allen, the guy who co-founded Microsoft along with Bill Gates, and other Russian oligarchs dubbed as the people who actually knew how to party, whose assets are frozen right now due to the ongoing war with Ukraine. But we also need to take this into consideration. We forget that most of the time rich people are just thirsty for celebs and fame. And celebs are thirsty for wealth, so they both grant what they crave to each other. This doesn't mean that sex is always involved. It's common to see a rich person wanting to impress guests or fellow rich people by showing off his famous friends, even if these friends are paid to be there. Which is why Jeff Bezos is so thirsty to hang out with them and be one. But again, the line is blurred. And this definitely isn't true for everyone. Dubai is like the central and the most famous hub for yachting, where these yacht girls are offered enormous amounts of money in return for their sexual favors. 
how did all of this even start? So, allegedly, when Grace Kelly, the actress, married the Prince of Monaco in uh, the 1970s, I think, it made a lot of the mega-wealthy men in the Middle East start competing for Hollywood types to have sex with for bragging rights. It's just evolved since then, and now includes a lot of influencers who aren't as secretive as actors, actresses, or professional models. For those wondering that these things might just be done by people early on in their career, you might be wrong. Kim allegedly started yachting with Brittany Gastineau back in the early 2000s. And there's always been rumors and blind items that all of the sisters do it behind the scenes. Some people try to dismiss the Kardashians from doing it because they have money. But it's also how business contracts and investors can be found. You can mega wealthy man and in return he might help you get your show picked up by Hulu or invest in your trashy makeup company, etc. Those trips to Dubai for events or business promotions are just a cover up for what they do in the dark. This video of Kendall Jenner went viral of when she was in Dubai and what she's speaking can't be heard. But this lip reader gives us context to what she might be saying. I'm doing some stalking and my lip reading is getting really good. Is this your first or second time? This is my third. My first two times were horrible. Horrible. This is so fun. Dubai has a very good reputation of what actually keeps happening there. The wealthy men fulfill their weird sexual fantasies like taking a shit on girls, which is a concept popularized as Dubai's porta potty, which is straight up weird and outrageous. In this video, we won't be going deep into it, but there are some unbelievably weird and disgusting stuff going on there, which includes sometimes having or sometimes even with camels. Some people had speculations that probably even Haley and Bella Hadid are yacht girls. After seeing this video, some people believe that she truly is a yacht girl, but some people still couldn't wrap their heads around this and were in disbelief. The wealthy celebs do it mostly for opportunities. See Paris's attempts at a music career. Also note that Gigi, Bella, and Kendall all do it, and their families are definitely richer than Haley's. Rumors that Meghan Markle was also a yacht girl gained attention since the 2010s, also stating that she probably met Prince Harry through yachting, and that she also had connections with Jeffrey. One true thing about yachting which cannot be argued is that it does promise you connections. Many B and C list actors also take part in yachting, as said by a veteran of the film industry. The line between professional prostitutes and B or C list Hollywood actresses and models who accept payment for sex with rich older men is sometimes very blurred. This is what Ellie Nahas, who ran a Beirut based modeling agency before being arrested on charges of running a prostitution ring in 2007, had to say about yachting happening during Cannes. These are actresses who made bad career choices and fell off the radar. They tell themselves what they're doing at can is okay, that they're just on dates with rich men, when the reality is they're doing what prostitutes do. On the other side, many other illegal activities take place, like human trafficking, as said by the Human Trafficking Foundation to stylists for their article. Conversations are finally starting to be had about the fact that sexual abuse and exploitation are endemic in society, and the information published around the sexual exploitation of young women and girls in Cannes is probably only the tip of the iceberg of what's taking place there. Some of the girls who are invited may not be comfortable with having sex with these wealthy or powerful individuals, but will be forced to, facing sexual and physical abuses. What are they going to do? Complain? No? As explained by Stylist in their article, misogyny, fear, grooming, and shame force many victims to remain silent, particularly when there's a power dynamic, as in these cases involving the very wealthy. Control isn't always visible or through violence but can be carried out, for example, by holding a person's passport, encouraging victims to take drugs, or via threats such as revealing private pictures to their families. Girls need to know and remember what they're getting themselves involved in, because when you're in the yacht in the middle of nowhere, in the oceans on international waters, anything can happen. Trying to run wouldn't be such a good option, because where are you going to run to? Jumping in the waters is it. In the pitch dark night with extreme cold, jumping into the water may be your worst nightmare. In a realm of glamour and luxury's embrace, from models to stars, they seek yachting's grace. Wealthy and famous, they set sail, dreams intertwined with secrets out of sight. But beneath the allure, a cautionary theme, for riches and fame are not all they seem.